so just got out of uh, Foul and Fury. Definitely recommend that place. Um, shout out to uh, Boss Finesse again for recommending it. And yeah, I want to talk about um, a PT my PTSD because I just had another PTSD incident right now. Where um, and this is what I'm saying, like you PTSD, it, it haunts you for life. There's no medication you could take. You just have to be aware of the situation and you know try to nip it in the bud and but some sometimes like like what happened today uh you won't even be able to do anything about it it's just the way your brain's been wired and so um for me personally i pray i pray about it and god has helped me a lot um to deal with it especially um he's helping me a lot with my with my anger which is a ptsd symptom but right now um what i had what experience symptom that i experienced from ptsd was um was trauma was trauma and um what happened is i had my gopro with me having a beautiful conversation there with the owner um about what we're gonna eat and all that everything was cool so i put my um gopro i put it with the selfie stick i put it in my satchel but i forgot about that so as i was walking back as i was walking down to my table i had a freaking panic attack i was like fuck because i thought i had said it right at the entrance when i was talking to him i thought i put it there on the side so I, I went fuck somebody stole my gopro and i was already gonna run outside at the person that i thought had took it because there was a person standing next to me while we were ordering and they just ended up leaving so they didn't even order anything so in my brain i thought people were watching me they um saw that i set my gopro down and they waited for an opportunistic moment and took it but that was not the case it was in my satchel and my wife saw it and my satchel was like here it is and uh, i felt like a fool and the owners um they looked a little shocked you know and so i apologized to them i told them sorry that was my ptsd triggering didn't mean to you know freak out in front of you guys and they're like oh man don't worry about it super nice they're like don't worry about it you know it's okay dance where are you from and this goes back to all my all my people that follow me um and subscribe to me um on my youtube channel that are from la and other parts of the united states that I grew up with a similar background as mine um this goes out to you guys because when i told them hey uh i'm from la i told them you know and they're like oh we get it they're like we've been to la it's nothing like wales he says he says the worst part of wales is probably better than the best part of la as far as crimes considered and he's like he started talking about skid row and that's where i grew up guys i'm from downtown la you know so and they said it was the worst thing they've ever seen in their life and that's where i'm from you know and um you know he told me yeah here wales is super chill you don't have to worry about people robbing you. you don't have to worry about you know people pickpocketing you you know and yeah that was my example right there ptsd and uh just wanted to tell you guys that you should be more aware of it because like i said some of you guys don't even know that you have ptsd but um you do you do especially if you come from a place like i came it's not just reserved for soldiers and it's not just reserved for law enforcement it's uh for people that grew up in the hood too so that was a perfect example of what ptsd can do to you it was embarrassing felt like crap after because i literally had a freak out in front of uh, them and their patrons but what can you do you know you live and you learn um now i feel more comfortable here in wales knowing that it's not as bad so maybe if next time if I, if I feel like i can't find something i'll look in my satchel or ask my wife instead of freaking out like that and that's just exactly how you do it I'm trying to teach you guys how to cope with your ptsd there you go so let me flip it around so you guys can get to see this beautiful cardiff neighborhood right here nice rover turning around right there this place is called 
gassies. <laughs> it really is called gassies, huh? It's a hot little corner right here. You hear? I don't even know if we can cross here, but and you hear the um, the Welsh English. I don't know if you guys heard it, but it's very easy to understand. It's not like the Scots or the Irish. And honestly, some of the English neighborhoods have very thick accents too. But yeah, gonna take it back to um, the central area, which is where our hotel is at. We're staying at the Marriott, um, so stay tuned for that. Check this out too, guys is total true right there total truth you guys read that PTSD crisis that for sure is happening and not just in Ukraine so many parts of the world guys is a PTSD crisis man so many of us have post-traumatic stress disorder so many of us all around the world and it's just a calling for us to get back to our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ that's exactly what that means why do you think there's so much madness in the world so many atheists out there so many people that don't believe in Jesus this is crazy guys the end is coming here and I, I hate to sound like um, someone that's a fatalist but when I say that I mean that Jesus is coming back it's time for you guys to get right with Jesus it's time for you guys to get back to the values that we had way back in the days I'm talking about way back because right now the world is going in the wrong direction and we all need to focus our time focus our energy worshiping glorifying our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ and it starts with a look acknowledge them acknowledge it the way i like to describe it is like someone that's lifting a heavy weight at the gym right here's a skinny guy just started going to the gym just started lifting he sees a bench with three plates on each side he's gonna think oh that's impossible can't do that meanwhile here comes another dude starts repping 315 315 pounds that's the three plates on each side like nothing that man has developed his strength he's developed it over over uh, the years with uh, lots of training you know it doesn't just happen from one day to the next the same thing is with your spirituality it's the exact same thing it doesn't just happen from one day to the next but it does start with a look so if i could give you guys any type of advice it's just that starts with a look look to our lord and savior jesus christ start a conversation with them at first you may not even feel anything if you're new to this you may not feel anything but the fact that you reached out to them is uh, a step in the right direction and just keep doing it just keep reaching out to them and then you're gonna start feeling his presence you're gonna start feeling the holy spirit move you in one way or one way or the other and once you start listening to the Spirit, the Holy Spirit, that's when your life begins to change for the better. Trust me, I'm living proof, baby. Let's go.